How's it going, Dave from Comic Book Investments? Apologize, I'm getting over a sickness. You know, I'm through the thick of it though. But this book that I'm about to talk about, man, it took a turn for the worst. Wow. And I put this on a list of mine. And now, well, I'm not, I'm not, I can't, I'll take it off the list, but I can't exactly take it out of the video. But yeah, it was, it's actually one of more, my more popular videos too. But something happened that is actually pretty weird and not very common for this to happen. Uh, so let's talk about this book. And I've been actually reached out, people have emailed me and asked me about this book and what's going on, things like that. So I figured I'd make a video about it. I'm using my new setup here as well. So finally got my laptop and everything hooked up and ready to go. So hopefully it's as good as it was before so I can do more videos from my desk area and not from my computer as much so much. Well, there's a computer for me, different computer. Anyways, so I did a video, um, and I think it was called like the top 50 rarest spawn books. And on that video, I, I want to say it number like three or four, I put spawn 306, the nether realms variant cover, which is nether realms did uh, more combat. So they had uh, more combat like figure, on the cover and spawn was in the video game and it was super rare at the time at the time it was it is not so much rare anymore now how does that happen how does a book become rare and then unrare well i'll talk about why it's rare to begin with and the value is going to be dropping tremendously and it sucks because i have a couple and so yes oh man it was so rare when i first like discovered it and now it's this so what am I talking about here? Let's, let's, let's look into this little thing right here. So if we scroll down here to a spawn 306 on the GPA, so we can look at how bad this book has crashed um, and will continue to crash. And it sucks because I just picked up a really good copy that was signed by Todd McFarlane. And now it is, yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of that book fast. Well, I'll tell you what I think, um, what's gonna happen, but anyways, if you look, there's been two sellers on eBay that seem to have a lot of copies. So we got this one, Comics, Tunes, and Toys. <coughs> and then Bucky Books. Now, they're both in California around the same spot. Uh, Grenadette Hills is in LA and the other one's in Irvine. So they might be the exact same person that owns them both. Just um, <coughs> sold under different names because they're different locations but look okay this person has a couple i think they just so this one has okay this person has two um this person has one but if we go to their complete listings because i think it just ended look how many they have look at all these graded ungraded not graded all of these there's tons and tons and tons of copies all are going to be nine fours and nine eights. Ooh, man, so many copies. Let's see how many this person has in their completed listings. They probably sold through all of them. A bunch of copies there. Another copy, another copy. Uh, another copy, another copy. Selling them for $400. 405. Just tons of copies. Nine eights. All sorts of stuff. Nine sixes. <clears throat> so you might be wondering, before I said that there is probably less than 50 copies known to exist. And that's how it made it on, it was in the top five, I'm pretty sure, of rare Spawn comics. Now, why is all of a sudden this person have like 50 copies himself? They used to be super rare. Like, I couldn't, the only photo I could find of that book was the comic I personally had myself. That was it. So it was extremely rare. And then after I made that video, probably a couple of people were like, oh, it's, I didn't know it was this rare. And so they sold a few in here, not that many, but still really rare. So the reason why it was rare to begin with, and this book would sell for a lot of money. Um, if you went back not too long ago, so a 9.8 just sold for 800 bucks. You know, back in 2022, probably around when I did the video, sold for five grand, then one sold for 5,500 for a 9.8. Um, again, it was hard to get, especially in a high grade because 
the reason these were given out to the players only of the tournament. And so they probably just grabbed it, read it, threw it in a bag. It's like whatever swag. They didn't really care. They're not comic people. They didn't keep it in pristine condition. So very rare. And, you know, if we look at like, say, 9.6, not that many sold, but one sold earliest year for <clears throat> 2,800. And then one recently for 800. Um, look, you got a, a 9.2. In 2021, selling for 2,900. Think about that, 2,900. Now selling for 3,300. Uh, 3, that was this May last year. But again, look at all of these. Look at all these. So many copies. 9.2 or better. 9.4 or better. <coughs> Got a couple 9.8s. Look at all these 9.8s graded. 9.8, 9.8, 9.8, 9.8. Copy 5, copy 4, copy 3. All these nine eights. So what happened was this is exactly what happened. <clears throat> they had a convention where they were going to have a tournament where people would play. So the way this worked was that these copies originally were going to give given out to every single person that attended the tournament and played in the tournament. But because of I think it was during the time of COVID and all this kind of stuff, they shut it down. But they kept the uh, players able to attend this got rid of all the people that were going to watch and things like that so then what happened was they had probably thousands uh, of these comic books maybe like two thousand or a thousand of these comic books that are that are going to give away and they just got rid of them all and just gave them the players and there's about 50 players in total so what they were supposed to do was they trashed them all and that's what they said. That's what the employees said. That's what, you know, official employees from Todd McFarlane and all that stuff. And Image and all that stuff. They were supposed to trash it and only give it out to the players. And so the players were running around around 50. So they said only about 50 probably made it through. That's why this made it so rare. And then the players had to keep it if they wanted to. Maybe they threw it away, lost it, destroyed it. Who knows? But it looks like that maybe one of the McFarlane employees grabbed a box that he's supposed to throw away and kept it for himself and then sold it to these comic book people in Irvine and LA. And so you have a pretty much sealed box, probably 50 to 100 in the sealed box that came out of the woodworks <clears throat> on pretty much prime condition and the person bought it from them. Who knows how much they bought it for, but they made a killing because they sent a few to CGC, sold those. And now they're selling off their ungraded copies for, you know, two, three, four, five hundred dollars a piece. My goodness, how much money they made. Probably fifty thousand dollars. Somewhere around there off of this deal. Um, but yeah, it flooded the market with them. So what does that do in terms of this? Now, obviously, this book has dropped quite a bit with 9.8 selling for about $800. Um, it's never going to go back to where it was, where it was selling for like $5,500 for a 9.8. Gone. Those are gone. Never coming back. <clears throat> Maybe even 9.9. Um, it will still have value because it will still be rare. Um, there's probably going to be Instead of like 50, maybe 150 that will exist, which is still pretty rare. It's very rare. It'll still, I think, crack the top 20 or, yeah, probably top 10 of rare Spawn comic books. So you have that. It will probably settle down and a 9.8 will sell anywhere for 500 to to $1,000 in the future. Um, depending how many of these come back as 9.8s. But beyond that, yeah, that's what happened. All right, have a good day.